Let's take Blackout EDC to the next level. So let's check it out. I know y'all are gonna ask me, and no, you can't afford it. I can barely afford it, but damn, does it look good. From Machine 56, their full helmets are a must have to complete any Blackout EDC outfit, but it is just a prop. So while I am fully covered and sweating buckets underneath, it should not be used for any safety situations. However, if you are looking for protection, our partner of this video, Casetify, is having the biggest sale of the year, so you can stay protected from this without breaking the bank. But let's rewind a bit though, because just looking at this instills confidence that your phone is safe inside this case. Plus, their clear design makes it even cooler to see all that EcoShock material lined inside, combined with these football shoulder pads that they call bounce corners, designed to do this, absorb impact before it actually reaches your iPhone. Which, when compared to other case materials, you can instantly see what happens when your iPhone gets whooped around with this case on instead. And look, do you need this much protection? If you're as careful as I am with iPhones, you probably still would, because you never know with your butterfingers, tiny any babies holding your phone or falling asleep while scrolling TikTok and it landing on your face. Better yet, if you need more than their signature black camera ring and thick bezel around the front screen, pair it with their camera lens protector and screen protector, both conveniently on sale, to literally have 360 degrees of coverage. More than enough for your daily dings and dongs, but I know what you're thinking. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. I hear ya. But also, the bounce case doesn't just look intense, it actually is intense. Rated to handle up to 21 foot drops, it breezed through these concrete tests. Kinda like having room temperature butter spread on hot rye toast. Super smooth. And high in cholesterol, so watch out. But if you still suck at holding things, you can also just keep it attached to you at all times with one of their lanyard straps. I prefer the utility strap with the magnetic buckle, because magnets. But all the other models are also on sale for a more casual Netflix and chill vibe. Plus, if you're a little more adventurous than matte black everything like I am, they've got a range of designs, colors, and transparency levels to choose from, all of which are made with recycled material, which includes their Ultra Impact series as well that's slightly less bulky, but still rated to protect drops from up to 9.8 feet, and their slimmest Impact series that keeps it minimal while still offering 8 foot of drop protection too. So check out Case Defy's Black Friday tech combo to stay protected. Bounce case, screen protector, strap, and some camera protection too. Details and links in the description down below. I had zero expectations for this Olight iMini flashlight to be any good, as it's just 10 lumens, and while the tiniest thing I own, it didn't scream useful either. However, when you learn how it turns on, well bam, magnets. And given it's just about the size of the tip of my thumb, you'll really have no excuse not to take this with you. It's not the brightest or the widest light though, but for the odd jobs of finding something in the dark, or even as a work light, it surprisingly does a really good job at lighting up a small area. By no means is it ergonomic, but the textured ring does help when pinching it. However, it's the magnets that steal the show. When docked, it turns off auto magically, but don't worry, it ain't going anywhere either in my scientific shake test. Then, when you need to use it, simply pull and Alakazam. Plus, for how affordable this is, it's still built like a tank. And for context, this is the size you're dealing with. Perfect when combined with the metal ring, you can attach it beside your other tiny tools for quick access, with your keys as it blends right in, or to any loop on a bag so it's instantly accessible no matter where you are. Plus, that magnet not only works to turn it off, it makes for a hands-free experience wherever a magnet would stick onto as well. Great to highlight your idols, or used as an actual work light for your late night hands-free activities. Store in one of the two pouches on this strap sling with more than enough space for the most satisfying yet surprisingly affordable fidget toy options. Well, relative to what I've shared recently. This is the Go Bigger Pillbug Youth Edition, a fidget spinner with a plate of armor surrounding it that basically goes into Super Saiyan mode when you give it a good flick of the wrist. This model is made of a special carbon zinc alloy, which has some heft to it, but still focuses on every detail in design and function. Seriously, this may be the only fidget spinner that can satisfy you by just looking at it do this, or even do a few tricks such as spinning it like a coin and have it activate itself. You can walk it like a dog, like some expensive yo-yo trick, or just sit around listening to it moan when you stick your finger in. But the best part about fidget spinners is that you can whip it out anywhere to play with and not have to annoy anyone else around you. Look, I make a lot of jokes about tiny objects, but I think I finally found one small enough that you can relate to. So small, in fact, it fits on my watch strap. This is the edc knife. 
a concept brought to reality recently on Kickstarter, and I can't believe it wasn't invented sooner. The frame is 3D printed and fit exactly to whatever band size you have, and the blade actually stays clicked in place, making it instantly accessible when needed. And trust me, don't let the size of it deceive you. It's come in handy so many times, not only for its cutting abilities, but the fact it also doubles as a scraping pry tool too. However, let's be real as it is limited given its size, but it is a solid piece of metal and can get some real work done on the fly. Rope candy, and even arts and crafts have no issues. Plus, with a little extra effort, you can also cut through some pretty thick cardboard too. But honestly, this is mainly designed as a backup, something to ensure you've always got a tool on hand, literally on hand, and can trust to stick around even through my scientific shake tests. Obviously, this isn't something to go around bragging about, but you know how the saying goes. The smaller the tool, he must be really cool. Or at least that's what I tell myself in my head. I picked this up thinking it would just be another small pen to fidget with, but oh boy was I wrong. The Penco drafting pen is tiny and very addictive to fidget with, but it's also become a staple in my personal pen collection too. Made of an all aluminum body, it's this 0.5 millimeter needle tip that deserves a spot in my bag. Plus the satisfying yet nostalgic click it has that keeps it in my hand. Otherwise, even for a tiny pen, it does everything right. A good textured grip, a clean, smooth, and precise line compared to my other pens, and something that can fit into almost any pocket without it having to stick out of it. It's also stored in a tough shell, so I'm not afraid of actually using it, which is perfect when paired with the clip, as that means I'll always have it handy, especially when I'm reading through my diary and need to jot down some new design ideas. If you're looking to carry less, say no more, because this liquid carry wallet and key organizer combo will save you from having to carry two separate items like some peasant. First off, the all black metal design feels like a complete tool in the hand, something you'd probably find in a toolbox next to your other metallic tools. But in use, the wallet portion can hold up to five cards comfortably, but thanks to the large elastic, it can manage to hold even just one if you really can't afford more. And when all tucked in, although pretty exposed and simple looking, it passed my scientific shake test without budging an inch. However, like all good things in life, the beauty of this is a round back. An additional plate screwed in place, with each screw offering the ability to hold additional keys or tools, and the dual cutouts providing easy access so you can grab any of them just as quickly. Then twist it back in place just as quick. No more jingle bells when walking around or in use, and it doesn't end there, because if you don't own a door to open, you can swap in for several tool options too, and I can confirm this will make you feel like a real mechanic. I've got the mini pen and a tracker installed here, with the optional keyring attachment you can utilize for larger items like your 2001 Corolla key fob. I get it, retro is cool again. You still get the same convenience with the large cutouts, and it feels like having instant access to a multi-tool for like everyday items. And while most wallets don't need to prove themselves, this one is tough enough to withstand quite a bit of usage thanks to the lack of any moving parts to break off. And don't worry, its flat design still easily slides into your pockets smoother than you in her DMs. This Sharpie is lying to you because it's a modified version by Vital Carry, and not only does it sound like a cartoon, it's like you're living in one with its secret compartments. Yeah, it's basically a Sharpie pen exterior with its plastic shell and printed text too, but stripped out from the inside with a metal tube jammed in for added structure and durability. So you're probably wondering what would fit inside? Well, you could carry a single hit of instant coffee, but why you're hiding it inside a pen? Well, don't ask, don't tell. But imagine pulling up to the office kitchen with this and impressing your crush with this cool magic trick. However, if that fails, it can be more practical too, offering enough space for more thin and tall objects like as a toothpick carrier, but more so just being able to carry around an everyday object and no one thinking twice that it's something completely different. Obviously, try to avoid storing it with other Sharpies given how similar they look, as you wouldn't want to confuse someone opening it and having white instant coffee powder spraying everywhere. Plus, you can also just play with it like this all day too. Hanging off the opposite side of the loops is, well, an even tinier pocket. Yeah, the Code of Bell Annex Zip is basically a giant zipper, but the overall design and cuteness overload makes it the perfect blackout storage solution for, you guessed it, your daily essentials. It'll fit two at most, but also works great as a coin purse to hold your life savings of about two dollars and quarters and even your spare keys. The tough waterproof fabric can withstand rough edges and even being tossed around, but for comparison, 
comparison, it's just about the size of AirPod Pros, although it won't actually fit a pair. So I don't blame you if you think it's useless as you really need to find a need for it, but I don't need a reason or you to convince me that I need to carry around a little Skittles baggie. The relatively large clip hanging above is sturdy and spacious, allowing you to hang this on any loop available. So you're always ready when that sugar craving hits you straight in the face. Winter is coming and if it was 2019, that'd still be relevant. However, in Canada, it's just a way of life. Thankfully, these Okupa magnetic hand warmers come in clutch, not only because they come in all black, but they also don't look or feel like some knockoff piece of tech. The fact that they magnetically disconnect is the real star of the show though. With a dedicated power button on each handle, it offers four heating modes, which I personally found level one to be more than enough. The rounded exterior, lack of sharp edges, and shorter pickle size design means you should be familiar with holding the size. It doesn't end there though, as the warmer runs off the battery, each side also doubles as a portable battery bank too, which is something most Android users would carry anyways to stay juiced up over the day. It's not the fastest and each one carries 5,000 milliamps, but you can't put a price on having the option to remember what it feels like for someone to hold your hand. Honestly, worth it alone. I personally prefer the small end split design, which allows you to stuff this anywhere on your body that needs to stay warm, but also sharing is caring too. And when done, just clip them together for easy travel and given both comfortably fit in the palm of my hand, you can easily toss this into a pocket and always be ready to save the day. Pry bar tools are interesting because they're so specific, but this tigered column mecha model is much more than just a can opener. Aside from the fact it looks like a tool straight out of Tron, it's got several functions built in. With my favorite obviously going to the fidget slider although no one else around me seems to appreciate it as much there's a flip up bottle opener that also satisfies your busy fingers and behind that has magnetic storage for mini bits too perfect for smaller objects or repairs on the fly but you also get its main purpose of removing gunk off surfaces too the whole bar is made of metal and can be used and abused without thinking twice combined with the large clip not only does it look the part but also keeps it secured in place in any pocket as well honestly if you just got it to stare at, I wouldn't blame you either because whipping this out is easily a conversation starter. So if you're looking for the world's tiniest sling bag because you honestly just can't afford to carry any more than this, well, the Riot Division strap bag is pretty genius if you ask me. Not only is it comfortable thanks to it being mostly padding, but when evolved into its second form, yeah, it doubles as an actual camera strap. So if you're just touristing around with your camera anyways, why not have it double as a pouch for your batteries, SD cards, and any other daily essentials because that's a win-win in my books for more edc watch this but that's it i rest my case